Uh, hello everyone to Blindfold Chess channel. Today I'll be showing an insanely, insanely long game that I played on a very small board, which is a 5x5 board. Uh, this is a shogi variant called Kyoto Shogi. And as you can see, okay, um, there are five pieces and five 5x5 uh, board. And as you can see, there's some red thing here that shows that uh, whenever you move a piece, it changes. Mm. Like it changes means it, the piece type changes. So uh, uh, like the shogi knight becomes uh, the shogi knight becomes uh, becomes a gold general. The silver becomes a bishop. The lance becomes a, uh, a token, and the pawn becomes a rook. This makes the strategy very very difficult. And I'll just start with this game which I played. And uh, like we played it um, uh, in a, like after a few moves it was in Bayeromi. So like. Every move had to be done in five seconds, and we missed a lot of mates. But the thing is, when pieces change every move, uh, finding mates is a bit difficult. In normal shogi, okay, okay, you can find okay two gold drops, and you get a mate. But uh, in Kyoto shogi, it's a different story. So okay, here is my gold general, uh, and I I go with uh, this gold general, and now this has become a knight. So it's looking here. So yeah, this is my first move. So gold general, I move and make it a knight. Okay, now he goes this pawn. And now this is a rook uh, aiming here. And now, okay, I go uh, this um, uh, this token, move it here. And now this is a lance, so it just attacks forward. So, okay, I'll just go through this game uh, quickly because there were some exchanges. And now, as you can see, uh, two pieces he has, two pieces I have, two pieces we have each in our hand. Our both our kings aren't that. Uh, it's like. Uh, they are uh, kind of exposed so i start off with this check because okay uh, this is a lance check that i'm giving so while dropping also you can uh, choose which piece uh, will be dropped so you can either drop a lance you can either drop a token so here i drop a lance he defends with the token and not the lance so yeah this is how how crazy this game is i exchange off and now i'm dropping this gold general to protect all these squares uh, so the, he doesn't have anything but now he drops a lance in front of my gold and what I do is I take this uh, lance and I drop a token here so the token is very similar to uh, gold general but um, it has a bit less mobility it's like the gold general actually so now this knight check here he does I move the king he takes takes and now this uh, gold drop here supported by this knight this bishop cannot take the gold this king has to move up so this is where risky business starts he takes here takes here and now again drop use this knight to again back uh, checking by the back and now my king has to go up and it's always a good idea to go up in shogi because most of the pieces are forward forward moving now again bishop check here now i think so he's in an advantage he's cruising he has his position optimized but he's left uh, out of pieces to drop and I have three pieces to drop. My king is here, so king can support stuff, and uh, I can start dropping here. So, like from three one point, I can uh, start dropping stuff. So that's why he runs away with his king, and I start dropping a general here, attacking this uh, pawn, and uh, okay, also protecting this king. He moves away this uh, token, and now it becomes a lance. You know, a lance on the last rank, it has no future. This is like a dead piece. So like in Kyoto Shogi also you get some pieces which are completely dead. And this is one of them. This is like, it can't move. It's a lance on the final file. And it's not even promoted. It, in Shogi also you have promotion. But here it's just switching. Pieces are switching. There's no promotion. It's only pieces are switching in nature. So I, I use up this gold. Take a pawn. And now I'm a token check. And a bishop check. Now maybe I want to take up this knight, take up this bishop. That's my plan maybe. Now I give this rook check. Four king both. He gives a gold check to deflect this. And then maybe collect this rook with the king. But I protect this. But any, uh, now he uh, brings the, uh, he brings the uh, gold here and it becomes a knight. So now it's threatening my pawn here. But my king is up, so it can't be mated. If it has to be mated, it has to be mated by at least like three, four pieces, taking away this square and also this two squares. So like, uh, it, this this is if if such kind of positions are reached in Kyoto Shogi, that means the game is going to be very long. 
and uh, since this is drop variant there isn't going to be a draw there will be always one person who will blunder uh, a bit more than the other person both players will blunder and one of them will get the checkmate so yeah let's uh, uh, let me just go in a lot more further here is where i have a lot of pieces around my king he has a lot of pieces around his king this is like this is position where making progress becomes very tough leave alone delivering a checkmate the game continues for long i won't go over every move because we were just uh, we were kind of not having a plan and this is where uh, he does this um, what you can call this uh, bishop and silver drop yeah he does a silver drop here and now uh, i go here uh, i can't take this uh, well i could have taken this actually yeah i didn't take wait uh, yeah i could have taken this but maybe i didn't i i mouse clicked maybe yeah i think so we here we we all were uh, we both were on 5 uh, uh, seconds per move and uh, you know in tutor shaggy 5 seconds to think of a move and also when you drop it so you have to bring the cursor from here to here then you have to choose which piece you want to drop do you want to drop the knight do you want to drop the gold which of them and then you have to drop it and that itself takes more than 5 seconds so you don't even have time to think because the drop action is going to take so many seconds so that's why it becomes very nerve wracking this 3 plus 5 second format um so you can see all this my structure is very solid here his structure is also solid but the thing is he wants to mate me and uh, we both don't have any pieces uh, in hand so we just have to maneuver we are avoiding three fold repetition somehow by he are blunder a piece few moves back the game goes on we have reached move 76 progress can't be made okay now here uh, i have all these three pieces this guards this this uh, is not guarded by anything but this pawn guards this rook so i took somehow took his all his pieces few moves in a few moves two pieces i took and um, i'm close to meeting him now but the thing is i am not able to find mate i am blunder four five pieces now he has like uh, five pieces in hand i have only one piece in hand and two pieces on board so this is where i uh, i am completely out of ammo so now i have this uh, knight which is can't has no future this is a, also a dead piece he has this pawn but if he advances the pawn too much it also becomes a dead piece because it becomes a rook and then it again becomes a pawn so now the board is clear he has everything in hand he is dropping aimlessly and uh, the thing is my king is up so find uh, putting it in a meeting net is a bit difficult so few more moves and this is where my my only king starts picking up pieces yeah and uh, i think so here here is the position where we missed missed a lot of mates but yeah this is the final position and uh, yeah we'll see the eval bar and how crazy the eval bar was in uh, leeches you have this thing and uh, at last uh, he was uh, winning actually and uh, at the start uh, i had lot of mates and i missed them and at the last he was winning and at the very very last i was winning so like it was a crazy game and that's why kyoto uh, shogi even it's if it's played on 5 by 5 board it's hard um like if you have a chess variant on 5 by 5 board it's it, it's for like 2 year old kids or like 3 year old kids and it will be like tic tac toe it will always be a draw 100% but when you play drop variants or uh, um, on 5 by 5 board uh, especially if the pieces are more forward moving and you bring the king so up so it becomes very difficult to meet the king then you have a masterpiece like this 186 move game so i i hope you liked uh, this uh, this game called kyoto shogi and you definitely can try it out at pichess and uh, okay there were a lot of blunders in uh, this game but uh, the thing is we we both were playing on 5 second increment and to drop a piece uh it takes uh, sometimes 5 seconds so you are also scared of lagging so yeah this is a uh, kyoto shoki uh I, so yeah just let me look at my own stats 
uh, I've played like 270 games of Dobutsu and uh, 93 games of Kyoto Shogi on this site. And uh, bear in mind, uh, for each game, I have to wait like one hour on this site because there are very less players on this site. So like 93 games may, uh, of Kyoto Shogi means I waited like at least 93 hours to get these 93 games. So uh, yeah, that's that. <laughs> Unless uh, people rematch and they want to have a mini match between us, but yeah, that's 93 Kyoto Shoki games that I've played. Uh, all of them are there, but this is one of the longest one I've played. Like I've played uh, Shogun, 157 games of Shogun, but uh, Shogun is also a very long game, but it's played on an 8x8 board. The longest I've gone is 150 moves, but for Kyoto Shoki, very small board and going 186 moves is insane. So yeah, this is the insane game. I'll link the game link in the description. You can try and study. So yeah, thank you for watching.